Hello, good afternoon, this is Diecast Looney and I hope you're all doing well. And as you can see, we're going to be taking a look at some Tomica Basic again today. Uh, this turn up in the post this morning, uh, these three pieces, which I've been waiting for for a couple of weeks now. Because um, I ordered these initially um, from China, I believe. But um, when I went to pay for them, because I forget what these were actually each now, but my partner stepped in and paid for them um, as a treat. So I must must thank my beautiful partner, Becca, for that. Um, I'm very lucky that she helps with my habit, so to speak. But anyway, with that being said, we're going to get straight into it. And as you can see, we've got three pieces. We've got um, this cattle uh, transporter. And then we've got a Mercedes-Benz Mercedes -Benz G class. And obviously... You can see the Back to the Future car there. So anyway, we'll get straight into it. We'll get straight into the truck first. So we'll move these aside and we'll take a closer look. And it's quite wide. Now, I've had a quick look. There's not a great deal on the, well, not a lot I, I can read, should I say. So you can see it says cattle transporter and obviously the issue number, a um, bit like Matchbox of old used to have numbers. Actual fact, I think Matchbox still does. But, um, and you've got the little happy little dog, as I call it, on the packet all over the place. But um, I will just, I will attempt to open this, because these are quite challenging to open. Um, ah, got it, I think. But if not, I will have to pause it, because I don't want to boil to tears with... Ah, I've got it. They definitely wrap these up nice. And that's what I like about... Tomica brand, um, not an expert. I've only recently got into Tomica, but I do like everything about them, the quality and the different sorts of castings they make. Right, so I take it there's some cows. And there's the truck. And as usual, straight away, very nice quality, weighty piece. So I just angle the camera down a little bit more. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I'm just trying to look for a make on the truck. Let's have a look what we've got here. So it says uh, Tomica, Tomi, ah, Isuzu, or Isuzu. I pronounce it Isuzu. So yeah, very cool. So it is an actual make of truck. Um, back's plastic. Uh, take it, this piece comes down. Like I said, I'm new to new Tomica, so I'm learning as I go along. But yeah, very, very cool. You know, um, this uh, basic range is basically, you know, like I said, it's, it's, it's a toy. But a very, very well made. And I've said this before, you know, oh, that pops off. These can be used, obviously, great for kids' toys. Um, very well made, you know, and um, good for us collectors. But you do get two bags of cows, so I'll just push that to one side. So you've got white cows and lots of plastic, unfortunately. And I'd say black, but they're actually dark brown, I believe. But uh, so you can just obviously plonk the cows in. I can pick them up. I don't know if I'm going to, to fit them all in, to be honest. So, I'm getting there. One more cow. So, yeah, there you go. So, there's all the cows in. Obviously, the top clips back on, which is a bit like a sort of a, I would have suppose in real life, it'd be like a bit like a material tarp all in top. But yeah, very, very cool. Like I said, can't fault it. Paint works spot on. No flaws. You've got some interior detail, which is pretty cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Dry throat again. Um, and, I, and like I said, weighty. Just a nice, nice piece. And and I think the reason that I like these so much, is at least this is what I've worked out, is the fact that they remind me of old Matchbox. 
they remind me of the days when Matchbox, in my opinion, was was better made. I'm not knocking Mattel. I think, you know, I love collecting Matchbox. It's one of my favourite brands. It still is one of my favourite brands, but it just has that Matchbox feel to it, which, you know, I do believe back in the day, that's probably where, you know, there is a big similarity between Tonica and uh, Matchbox. But anyway, so that's the first one. So that is obviously, so we'll just close the box up. So that is the Isuzu well Isuzu cattle truck so that's pretty cool so can't really see that's better I'm right, just moving the plastic out of the way so that's the first one so put that back there and the next one we're going to take a look at is this Mercedes-Benz G-Class or G-Wagon I think they call these but straight away the weight is just it's 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 just screams quality now I think I paid just over six pounds to seven pounds each for these particular ones, or should I say my partner did? And uh check it out. Two seconds. Um but like I said, she paid for me, she wouldn't let me pay for them. But uh so we got there we go, we got Mercedes Benz there. So it's obviously to do with the license, I can't quite see it. So it's just going on a bit about the brand and I'll see if I can get into this again without boring you all to tears all right I'm getting in there so again there's the box and let's take a look inside Seal the box back up second. And there it is. And like I said, the weight is just it's so much die cast in this. Yes, there is plastic, but the die cast is such thick, heavy quality. It's it's just like I said, this make keeps on impressing me. But as you can see, it is in this metallic silver. And you got I'm trying to look. You've got all the grills painted in nicely and at the bottom there air vents all painted in nicely and the wheels are replicated nice it's probably got suspension yet yeah. loads of suspension which is cool and opening doors with a what looks like a silver dashboard just trying to look myself but it's very very nice doors shut nice it's got better shut lines than some of the more higher end cars that have opening doors. And again, the back's all painted in. You've got the Mercedes logo on the wheel cover there. But just very, very nice. Like I said, I think at the moment this is my new favourite brand at the sec. So Mercedes Benz, G Class, made in Vietnam. And have we got a scale? Let's have a look. 162 scale. And as, as we said, you know. These ain't to scale, but when I think when you collect Hot Wheels Matchbox or Tomica, especially at a main line or a basic level, you don't expect, um, you know, spot on to, to uh, scale, which doesn't worry me because um, eventually when I've eventually got all my cabinets finished in the, in the home and wherever they're going to be put and positioned, I tend to bunch stuff together anyway. So you've got my main lines, you've got some vintage stuff, you've got, you know, my, my Tomica being its own little stand, you've got... You know, most of, I, I sort of roughly group stuff together, but I'm not overly bothered by scale as long as it's roughly to scale. If I'm paying top price, you know, top dollar for a particular piece that is supposed to be a scale, then I want it in scale. But like I said, with these, it doesn't really much matter. So again, very cool. So we'll stick that in the background as well. And then the last piece. Is going to be this so as you can see it says delorean part three and uh we've got here back to the future future three I've got my next door neighbor's dog barking but uh very very cool so again in this we got here we got uh back to the future three universal studios so yeah so we'll we'll open this plastic protector if i can and try and Get it out, it really got it. 
and again I'll see if I can get into this if it doesn't take too long. No, I'll just pause this one because this one seems a bit stiffer, so just two secs. And there it is. That was a real pain to open. I had to get a knife in the end. But as you see, very cool. And uh, again, you've got the Universal Studios logo there. It's my neighbour's dog in the background as usual. And that's the only thing with Tom Curtis. It, a lot of plastic. And again, weighty piece. Loads of suspension, really nicely done, as you can see. And I don't think there's any opening features on this, but very, very cool. Very nicely done, you see. So, it's from part three, so it's got the red wheels, because, like I said, in part three, they obviously changed the wheels on it. And um, I think this is the most um, sort of maddest look that the DeLorean went through in the films. But you can see all the back ends painted in nicely. You've got some... Uh, Painted details around there. And the window, you, there is interior detail, but the window's so dark you can't really see. I do apologise about the dog in the background. And uh, all the bonnet detail. But yeah, very, very nice. Really, really well made. Rolls nice. And let's have a look underneath so we can see some. So... Tomica, Tomy, DeLorean, 2009 copyright, I take it. It's uh, Universal Studios. And it says, and you drive. Is that right? I can't see, I've got some glare going on. I think it says Vietnam there. No, it's done, sorry. Made in Vietnam, yeah, sorry. But uh, very, very cool nonetheless. I've got some lock detail going on there. But anyway, so very impressed so we'll just stick that back there if we can on its box and we'll raise the camera back up so that's today's uh unboxing and like i said just very very impressed if you don't have any tomica i definitely uh, recommend sourcing some unfortunately i don't know what it depends where you live but i know here in the uk you can't buy these off the peg. You can't buy these off the street, unfortunately. I don't know anywhere that sells them. There's a few sites that I know of. There's, just, there's one decent site in this in this country that sells them. It's, 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 it's an importer. Uh, I think it's called Manchester, the Manchester Model Shop. Uh, let me just, two seconds, I'll have a look if you're interested. Um, yeah, it is Manchester Model Shop. So you can always pause, but they sell Tomica and as you can see, um, various brands, various sorts, I should say. I have used them. They're very good. Pretty quick at getting to you. So if you live in the UK, I recommend checking out Manchester Model Shop um, for your Tomica needs. But failing that, like I said, a few of the, some of it I've had to order, like some it's been ordered from straight over from china um but uh like i said you do pay a bit more than your um you're paying premium prices on a lot of it but it is very well worth it but anyway with that being said whilst i carry on rattling, rattling on thanks for watching please like and subscribe and uh stay tuned for more unboxing videos and i'll see you all very soon